All of the things that were once viewed as wholesome are now under attack. All of the things that were once celebrated are now condemned. And the sodomites don't want to just be left alone to do their own thing. They want you celebrating with them. Which brings us to the last stage of a moral revolution. Stage three. Those refusing to celebrate are condemned. People are put in jail for preaching truth at pride events. People lose their jobs. They're blacklisted. They lose their businesses. They lose their livelihoods. They're sued and ridiculed and persecuted. They're condemned by society for not jumping on this bandwagon of moral depravity. What was condemned is now celebrated. What was celebrated is now condemned. Those refusing to celebrate are themselves condemned. Moral revolution. And now we see that this goes beyond anything we could have imagined. Years ago, all they wanted was marriage. They said we were crazy for thinking that things were going to go deeper than that. Crazy for thinking that they were coming after our children. And now here we are. Disney is into all this stuff. Being paraded on television. Amusement parks, children, being awakened and informed about things that they don't have any business even knowing exists. We want our children to be children. And we're fighting harder than ever to simply try to let that happen. We'd have to take out second jobs. Just to screen the content that is put before our children's eyes. Then we have to figure out how to best address this stuff with them. Because if we don't, society will. Sitting the sidelines is no longer an option. Never really has been an option. In fact, one might argue that we're here in a lot of ways because far too many people have been sitting the sidelines. All kinds of abominable things going on. People actually arguing that men can menstruate. Arguing that women aren't the only ones who can get pregnant. And we're just sitting here trying to live our lives wondering how this could possibly happen. How are we here? How are we having these conversations? How do we have people serving in the highest offices of our government who aren't willing to say what a man or a woman is? Who aren't willing to say that there are only two genders? Who don't even know what gender they themselves are? It's enough to make your head spin, or worse, 